Hello, sexy feline. My name is MCIK, or my cat is Keo. And I just want to say I am honored to be in the presence of a major cunt. Hello, my name is MCIK, or my cat is Keo. Welcome back to another video today. Hello, felines. My name is MCIK, or my cat is Keo. Welcome back to another video. I just want to say I am honored to be in the presence of someone with such potential and beauty and integrity. And that person, obviously, is me. And I just I feel really honored. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Got you there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. It's, it's all game. Don't worry. I love you. Don't worry. I'm joking. Welcome back to Warframe, guys. Today, we are going to be taking a look on BOTW, Built of the Week on Excalibur. Uh, one of you guys asked me to do this, and I was like, hell yes. H hell yes. Okay, hell yes. Not, even, not just yes. Hell yes. So, guys, uh, I put them on the screen. The feline that requested this, thank you very much, dude. And if you guys are wondering, my hair, I know, you're thinking the same thing. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so before we start, uh, this build is going to basically going to be, I have two builds. The first one's going to be on Ex Exalted Blade, which is amazing. His ability is amazing. That's probably one of my favorite builds, the Exalted Blade. And then the second ability will be the Radio Blind build, which of course is great for long missions and uh, using that, like doubling up with Dread or a critting weapon because you'll get extra crits with that uh, extra um, blind with the Radio Blind. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's get on with the video, baby. Alright guys, the moment you all been waiting for, you guys have been wanting to see my build for Excalibur. It is not so like amazing amazing, but I hope you guys still enjoy nonetheless. Uh, I, I personally like it and it gets the job done. So, um, currently I don't have any, I don't have any forma on this build. So, don't judge, uh, it's not the best and uh, I did what I did. So, starting off we got Steel Charge for our, our mod. For our uh, armor, shield and, uh, yeah, armor, shields we have Steel Fiber. And redirection for our shield and, and uh, armor. Uh, personally, I, I added up armor because he, with the buff that Excalibur got recently, he is a bit of a tankier frame now. So I thought, why not build up his armor even more to 70%? And uh, yeah, it's at 382%. So he is a beast now. Uh, now, I, of course, you guys always can see in the comments below, you can always change it for something else, like add more strength. Um, I could do that. It, I don't know if it makes much of a difference. It's 226 damage percentage of, of strength and 256 yeah I guess I'll leave that on there for more damage because why not you know you can scale later into the rounds so we have all of our strength mods we got blind rage we got transient fortitude and we have intensify now look at that so this is gonna be a pure strength build and efficiency as well so as I said efficiency we have fleet and expertise that will bring it up to a 145 percent efficiency of course uh, this takes it down to 45 percent so it brings it up to 145 which is Plenty of efficiency for Excalibur. Um, next up, we got Streamline to give us, you know, bring the efficiency a little higher. So, yep, that's what makes the 145. And last but not least, we have Flow for our big pool of energy, which is great, great, great. So, I'm going to show you guys the other build. I'm only going to use this build because a lot of people have been wanting to see my Exalted Blade build. But just for you people that wanted to run the uh, Radio Blind build, I'll show you guys that. So this is the Radio Blind build. I have Narrow Minded. This is going to be basically our duration and range build. So, and of course a little bit of, of efficiency too. I can't max out efficiency because I don't form it, so I can't do much. So, but I'll show you guys anyway. So we have Narrow Minded for our duration at 72%. Um, and then we have a Continuity for more. Uh, that brings it up to 202% duration. Next off, we have our overextended for power range, bringing it up to 187. And I added stretch to bring it up to there too, actually. So it's a mixture of these two to get it up to 187 uh, dur power range. So, yes. And next up, we have vitality and steel fiber. And also streamlined for a little bit of efficiency. Now, it, it is taken down. I believe it is taken down. Or, no, that's just straight efficiency. Yes, 130 efficiency. Uh, so, yeah. I actually added fortitude and... 
I don't want, I, I'm gonna change this out. Uh, I know this is, I get a little nitpicky, but I could change it out for flow. Either flow or another option would be really good for you felines is natural talent. When you're casting, you're ready to blind, you wanna make sure it's fast and you don't have to wait for the animation. I know the animation isn't su super slow, but when you're in those high rounds in the void, you wanna make sure you don't get killed while casting. So natural talent, it would be your best shot or flow for more energy. So I'm gonna go flow. But anyway guys, I am going to be showing you the Exalted Blade build because you guys really wanted to see that and I will show you that man, my hair, I just can't get over this guys, isn't this just beautiful? Leave a comment, you know what, really, leave leave a comment, I, I really want to, I want to hear what you get to say. <laughs> so anyway guys, we're going to try this, this build out and we're going to do some heavy T4 and guys, I will be right back. Alrighty guys, and we're back, we're really going to stress test this build because I don't really, I don't really do that a lot, but we're going to stress test this build to see how far we can get with this thing. We are doing a Tower 4 Exterminate. Are you guys ready for this? Alrighty, good. So we got my friend Raging Rebel here. And uh, we'll activate Exalted Blade. And as you can see, it uh, one shot. Okay, let's try to bombard. Boom! Bombard? What bomb? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> this is why I do think it's a little smarter to go with an armor mod. That way you don't... Um, that doesn't happen. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, let's just get that and let's get some more energy and we'll activate our exalted blade once again. It doesn't take a lot of energy to cast, so that's the good part. Now we just need to get some more energy and then we will be able to use our ability again. Hey, watch out man, watch out, what you doing? What you doing? Yeah, that's right, baby. You're on fire, son. You on fire, girl? Alright, uh, where is Okay, enemies, enemies, enemies. Yes, energy. Thank you very much, crewman. Perfect, perfect. And activate our exalted blehe. Blehe. That is the exact term for it. Exalted blehe. Don't even... You don't even need to quote me on that. That is exactly what it is called. Man, I wish I had more energy. I need to start storing up energy. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to use it <laughs> longer than four seconds. All right, we got energy now. We're going to try the this out with the energy. Sorry, I've been sucking badly. I just don't have any energy. To use an <laughs> exalted blade because it's not too easy to come by no sir it is not all right dead 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 all right who else who else who else come on i need some more enemies no 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 all right then as you guys can tell though it is a one hit kill for anything in the void uh including the bombards it is a one hit for any bombard uh now sort of it's good for exterminates because after you get to um of course, in survivals, the enemies will start scaling higher. But you should be good for a really long time in the survival, nonetheless. Because I did this in a survival once, in a T4 survival. And I was, we were at 50 minutes, and I was still one-hitting things um, with my actual, you know, on contact. It wasn't able to one-hit things with the Exalted Blades wave. So keep that in mind. Eventually, the wave starts to scale off, the damage from the wave. But the direct hit with the sword will still do tons of damage. So, make sure you guys keep that in mind. Uh, I'm hitting a lag spike, so I'm going to finish up this mission, and I will be right back. This is attractive. Alrighty, guys, and that is it. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm really sorry I didn't get to stress it out, the stress the test out a lot. But you guys, that's the fun where you guys can go on a Warframe and try it out for yourself and try the build out. Don't worry, guys, it's really good and it's a really good build. I definitely put my name on this thing. This thing's a great build. Definitely try it for yourself, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Try it out on a survival or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys, other than that, thank you for watching the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support you guys have been giving me lately. It's really me. It's, um, to be completely honest, it's getting me through the day. Uh, I've been trying to get two videos out a day. Um, so far, I've been achieving that goal. And I really want to thank you guys because you guys are one of the reasons I'm motivated to get up in the morning and uh, start recording a video. And so thank you guys a lot. I'm serious. You know, it, it's really cool to know um, you have someone waiting for you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's really awesome. So thank you guys so much for what you guys are doing. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So anyway, guys. Keep on watching. I'll be keep on posting. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe today to join the feline pack if you guys are new to the channel, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name's MCIK or CJ. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay sexy, guys, and peace out. <laughs>